Hey, what's up guys? Thank you for joining my video. My name is Nick Acosta and I just want to share something with you real quick. I was reading the book of Proverbs in uh, chapter 1 and I came across verse 8. And verse 8 says, Hear my son your father's instruction. And I usually just keep reading but I, I felt like the Lord wanted me to see something he wanted to point something out and just give me give me a few good a, a few good points and then i felt like sharing it with you <clears throat> so first of all it says hear my son your father's instruction so i want to talk to you about the father's instructions your father's instructions and and and, and a father a father in this world right and i'm not i'm, I'm going to talk natural right now i'm not going to talk spiritual so watch this a father in the world is somebody who is in charge, has authority, and is a steward of his seed on the earth, right? And is in charge of providing, of protecting, and of teaching or instructing, right? <clears throat> this is something we got to notice. There's fathers all around the world, like all around the world. Like, if there was aliens, there'll, there'll be fathers all around the universe, right? Because, you know, there's there's fathers. There's just uh, a human or an entity, a creature comes to uh, to life because it was conceived um, in a womb by, right, by the father, the giver of life, by the one who produced the seed, right? And it brings conce conception. So... Humans, let me let me let me be realistic. Humans, us on the world, we see a lot of fathers. We become fathers like this, right? And then we're in charge of instructing, right? Do this, don't do that. This is why you do it. This is why you don't do it. I did it. This happened. I suggest you do this, right? We see this in every country. There's millions and millions and millions. There's billions of people who live life a certain way because of what their father taught them, right? There's people who see things from a perspective and a worldview because of what their father instructed them. And if they didn't have a father, then their mother. And if they didn't, you know, uh, their teacher, their some type of mentor or, or, or the culture. Somebody taught, they got instruction. They got the idea of right or wrong, do or don't do from somewhere, somehow, from somebody, somebody influence everybody so regarding with to fathers there's people in Saudi Arabia there's people in China there's people in Colombia Venezuela uh, Belize there's people in Canada there's people in Senegal Cameroon there's people in in, in Korea and there's people in in in, in Greenland and Finland there's, there's people everywhere thinking differently living by different teachings with different mindsets because because of different instructions okay so when you become a father you don't automatically get this wisdom from above that comes to a father to only tell the truth to your children and only teach those things which the lord god knows is true that doesn't happen so everybody's teaching according to what they themselves think is good is true is wisdom most of it is not right a lot of it is not if, if, if we read the word we know that most of the world is not living according to truth according to wisdom or according to what is good and holy no absolutely not so what is the prerequisite to get good instruction is it to have a father absolutely not it's to have a father whose instruction is truth this is an advantage for the body of christ to, to be able to be thankful and cherish and, and thank God for because we all receive the spirit of the Father within who is the Holy Spirit. That's why Jesus called him our teacher because he was going to instruct us, okay? Jesus said to the disciples to teach everybody that they disciple the same things that Jesus taught them. He said, I tell you and I teach you to make disciples, right? Baptize them and do all that and teach them and instruct them 
just as you have been taught and instructed. That's how we know we're supposed to be doing the same things the original disciples did because Jesus told them to teach their disciples the same things. And if they do, then their disciples will teach their disciples the same thing and then theirs the same and theirs the same all the way down to us, to this generation. That's why we read the Bible because everything they did we're supposed to do today because it's supposed to be the same what? Instructions from the Father. There, there, there you go. So, so watch this. The Father gives the instructions. The Son must listen. And guess what? We are not programmed in a way. Anybody who's a son or a daughter is not programmed in a way that we have to obey. We have to listen. Like our memory only remembers what our Father instructed and nothing else. <laughs> we wish it, it was that way, but it's not that way. It wasn't that way for Adam. It that wasn't that way for Jesus. It's not that way for us. Now that Jesus came, died and resurrected, the second and last Adam, it's still the same way. We still have a choice. We still get to get to and have to Remember what it is that the Father instructed, instructed us to do so that we can live according to it because only the Father knows best. So it says, my son, hear your Father's instruction. Remember it. Take heed to it. Listen to it. Believe it. Don't mistrust it. Don't get distracted by anything other than your Father's instruction. We, we, we have a responsibility. This is what this video is about. We have a responsibility to steward our relationship with the Father, to steward the information, the knowledge, wisdom, and revelation that the Holy Spirit is dying to give us or living because he's the spirit of life right living to give us living to fill us with because he's the spirit of truth he's the holy spirit the spirit of the lord the spirit of our father the one who instructs and every believer in the whole wide world has the holy spirit therefore every believer in the whole wide world has the ability but also this is a tough one a lot of christians don't like this word responsibility and the Demand, command to steward truth by listening to the Father's instructions. And we can all do that, but we should all do that. Why? Because just like a natural father wasn't magically given good instruction and wisdom and knowledge when he became a father, and just like a son wasn't given only the ability to remember his father's instructions and nothing else, we we must make sure that we're listening to our Heavenly Father and not a voice that sounds unlike His voice. We might have a pastor, a natural father, a mentor, a teacher, an evangelist, an apostle, a prophet, somewhere teaching and preaching. We might have them in our lives and that's okay because that's biblical. That's a five-fold. We're supposed to have people and build each other up and equip each other and learn from each other and have that, that authority and that order that got put into the structure of the church. However, if what they're teaching has nothing to do or has some to do or has half to do with what God's, the real Father's instruction are, we must not take heed. The, the, the Lord wants us to hear and take heed to His instruction. And because He's one who delegates, He'll put His instruction, aka His wisdom, His word, His truth, into men of God and women of God who will teach it accordin accordingly with humility and with great godly integrity and character but if if they're not teaching truth then our job is not to say oh y'all ain't teaching truth y'all ain't teaching truth y'all ain't that's not our job our job is to reject it and don't hear that don't listen to that the bible says hear your father's instructions if what you're listening to is not your father's instruction then you're already wrong by listening to it you're not right just because you're pointing to the ones who are wrong you have to get yourself into a place into a church or into your room into your bible to list in order to listen to your father's instruction. So that's number one. We have the responsibility to receive and to reject. 
right? To receive and to reject. If what somebody's saying is not the Father's instruction, then we reject because that's part of hearing the Father's instructions and only the Father's instructions. If somebody around us is teaching the Father's instructions, you know they're speaking from the heart of God, according to the Word of God, and with the character of God, then it's our responsibility to remain seated, to remain attentive, to remain on post, on spot, on stand, and firm listening to that instruction because we all need the instruction of the Father. And if he's relaying it through a man of God, which if you read the Bible, you know he does that a lot. <laughs> you know that's what he does because he uses men because he created men after his own kind and likeness and he loves to do that. Then you will hear the Father's instruction and you can submit and humble yourself before somebody and learn from them. And then maybe um, you'll either live according to it or if you know if you're called to to be a a teacher or a pastor one day you're not you'll not only live according to it you'll also teach according to it and you'll be able to give the father's instructions to somebody else which is awesome now being a son that's our responsibility making sure that we're listening to the father's instructions what is the father's responsibility the father's responsibility is making sure you seek that instruction you seek the truth there's a lot of fathers or or evangelists or pastors or teachers or apostles or natural fathers that again for some reason we think just because we have that title god magically just fills us with all the instruction that we need to teach our children. That's not the case. The Bible says you seek, you find, right? The Bible says you, says you must be hungry. You must desire uh, truth. You must desire wisdom. Seek wisdom. Wisdom is your best friend. Uh, the beginning of wisdom is, is to fear the Lord. And, 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 and fearing the Lord involves you knowing that He is worthy to know. To worship, to honor, to respect, right? To fear in a healthy way, uh, fearing life without him, fearing uh, a lifestyle without him, fearing uh, a decision making apart and aside from his wisdom. It's fear of the Lord. So, so it's wisdom to seek wisdom. It's it's wisdoms to seek knowledge. It's 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 our duties and our responsibility as fathers to seek the truth and the correct and right instruction to teach our children. A lot of people have this excuse. Well, I was taught it this way. They taught me this. My pastor taught me this. My father taught me this. So that's how I teach it. Well, you see, now you got yourself into a whole different level of responsibility when you're teaching. Not only not you learning and receiving, they're the ones with the responsibility. They're the ones held accountable for what they're teaching. But once you start teaching people, before you do that, it's your job to make sure that what you were taught was right. And if it wasn't, you must make the, the correct changes and adjustments in order to be able to relay the truth and the instruction according to God to the ones that you're teaching now. Because just because you were taught it this way doesn't mean you have to teach it that way or, or you have to teach this, this, this uh, understanding of truth. You must still seek truth. You must still ask God for wisdom. You must still ask God for revelation. And a lot of us are not doing that. So the conclusion of this video, <laughs> <laughs> it was a little more lengthy than I wanted to. It's basically, ask God for knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. If, 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 if you're not reading your Bible a lot, it's time to do it. If you're a teacher or a pastor and you think that the hardest, the hardest thing to do you've accomplished and now it's all downhill from here and all you do is get paid to preach a little bit and counsel people a little bit, then, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> This might not might be the thing for you or you just might need to watch this video and now that you did Maybe it's time to get in the word and getting that in that private time that prayer time with God and ask God to reveal truth to you ask God to Expose every lie and to correct you and adjust the teachings in your mindset and help you to have a firm Understanding of what the truth of his instruction is so that you can teach his word appropriately and accordingly the way you should. Amen? So, as sons and daughters, only accept the truth and only reject what's not the Father's instructions. Amen? As fathers, just because you're a father doesn't mean you have the instruction. 
you must seek it. You must ask God for it and make it your job to get it. Let's get back in our word. Let's get back into prayer and let's get back into faith, expecting revelation truth, knowledge, and wisdom, discernment like never before because those that we oversee need it like never before because sons and daughters need their father. And this is a whole nother level above the natural. Just like we needed our fathers growing up, these believers need fathers growing up and we must be able to give them the real instructions from the real father. Just like Proverbs says. I want you to go ahead and like this video. Share this video if you think this is important. Or comment on this video to, to tell me if this helped you. Or to ask me questions about it that you might have. Or if you want to go ahead and suggest topics for me to do videos about. Go ahead and comment right now. I want you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And follow me on Facebook, Nick Acosta. And on Instagram. Amen. Alright. Bless you guys. Y'all take care. And let me tell you again. Nothing but the Father's instructions is the instruction we're supposed to heed and listen to and hear. Amen. Peace.